Well, it's really a fine line between staying open and staying closed for good. Right now, industry experts are predicting that 25% of clubs will close at the end of this year. And if you're a smaller gym, then you're definitely in need of a lifeline. So the retreat center managed to clean up most of the graffiti except for this, this peace sign on this column right here. You could not miss it. The voices of those demanding justice rang throughout New Haven. And even now at this hour, they're still standing outside the police department. Actually right behind me is Route 34. And really this is a call to end police brutality while also taking a hard look at race relations between people of color. Right now here in Glasson tonight. Less than 2,000 people are without power, about 10%. But if you're in that 10%, it's been brutal realizing you're entering another day without any power. And we're learning you can get those test results within 24 hours. As soon as you get off the tarmac, grab your luggage and you can get tested right there inside the terminal. You know, well, large get togethers are certainly out the window. So that means more people will find themselves cooking for the people that they live with. And how do we know this, right? Grocers say you may have a hard time finding things like sugar, spices, and what I think is pretty important for me at my house, stuffing. The manhunt to find Peter Manfredonia led state police to Derby. Investigators say he drove to Roosevelt Drive to visit someone he knew, an acquaintance. And there, police say he killed again. The manhunt for Peter Manfredonia is a multi-state search. State police tell Eyewitness News the Yukon senior student was last spotted walking in East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. The 6'3", 240-pound man wore a gray shirt and gray pants. Back in Connecticut, a new crime scene unfolded for state police. The Connecticut State Police are currently searching for a Peter Manfredonia in the Osborndale State Park area in the town of Derby. This morning, state police say he reemerged in Willington, where he held a homeowner against his will. This, after police say he attacked two elderly men Friday, with one person dying from his injuries. During the home invasion, he stole firearms and a truck, driving to Derby, where he ditched the vehicle. On Roosevelt Drive, neighbors watched a man break down on the street. I thought, Whoever the guy was, he was having a, a nervous breakdown. I don't know. I mean, you don't see people out in the middle of the road waving their hands and, and screaming hysterically. Eyewitnesses say sirens followed where police investigated the murder of 23-year-old Nicholas Easel. Police say Manfredonia stole a 2016 black Volkswagen Jetta from the scene. It was found in New Jersey near the Pennsylvania border. In Derby, sorrowful onlookers hope he's caught before anything else happens. It's just madness, and there's nothing he can do to get out of it except just run for his life. I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for the victims. Manfredonia is considered armed and dangerous. If seen, do not approach him. If you know his whereabouts or have any information, call 911. In Derby, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Kevin, emotions ran high from both sides of the spectrum. On one side, you had excitement from Biden supporters, and on the other side, you had anger coming from Trump supporters. And I want to show you this scene from earlier. This was the moment when Hartford police had to separate the two groups from each other. Earlier, they stood on the opposite ends of the street, but then some words or exchanges were made when the protesters and counter protesters clashed. But besides the altercation, we heard people blasting music and cheering to ring in President-elect Biden's win. But during this backdrop, Trump followers said this election is not over, echoing the president's baseless claims that the election was stolen from him. The results of this election are ours. We have voted and we have won. How can Biden overnight come out with all these votes when Trump was leading? And then all of a sudden, Biden has all these votes? No. And we saw a few people remained on either side of Capitol Avenue until 4.30 or 5 p.m. And Eyewitness News is learning that another Stop the Seal protest is scheduled for just a bit right here at the state capitol. Live in Hartford, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.